Hello, so my name is Mark Dennehy and I'm with Sura. Uh, it's a commercialization project that's running at the moment in Trinity College. Um, we're hoping to spin out to a campus company at the end of April next year. And what we do is we basically provide a technology that allows you to do automatic Wi-Fi authentication and metering for mobile operators, for hotspot uh, providers and that uh, general wireless, wireless service providers. When, in layman's terms, if you go at the moment into a hotel or into an airport and you want to use Wi-Fi from your laptop or from yeah, one, of the, one of the smartphones, if you have one of the more uh, high-end models, you need to either pay somebody or to uh, arrange to get uh, a long 20-digit uh, username and password combination in order to get access to the Wi-Fi uh, network. What we do is we automate that. We have a small piece of software that you download onto your phone um, and it runs in the background. It automatically connects to the hotspot and sorts out internet access for you automatically so that internet connectivity becomes a little bit like uh, mains electricity. It's just there and it's just something that you... Um, so the applications that we found for this technology, we were initially thinking hotspot providers and hotspot operators. We've since had it pointed out to us that a very large part of what we could apply it to is in the, uh, a run called data offloading. So at the moment in Ireland, 3G uh, networks are uh, enormous. There's an enormous amount of demand for them, but they're extremely expensive to provide and at the moment the supply does not meet the demand. It's costing somewhere in the order of €100,000 for every 3G base station that they build and that works out at something like €1,000 for every megabit of connectivity that can be served. Um, that can be served on Wi-Fi for 10 euros. And the uh, operators are very aware of this and they're very anxious to try to find some solution to take the data traffic from the 3G wireless networks and migrate it over to Wi-Fi networks. And we believe that we have a component of that particular problem. And we've seen uh, actually quite a bit of interest in that from the various people that we've been talking to today. Well, one of our main problems is that in the user trials that we've been running, we found that there's two halves to this problem. The first half is the technology, and we've got a very good handle on that. But the second half is obviously the business negotiations. Our team isn't as strong there as we'd like them to be, and we've actually been looking today to find a candidate for an interim CEO to get our company started and take it to where we think it can get to. Um, we've actually had one or two interesting candidates come forward, and we'll be talking to them further. But obviously, we're still looking for the, the, the ideal candidate for this. Uh, we have a great technical solution to a problem. We know that there is our market to, to sell it in several different areas, but to be able to approach the right people, to be able to package it in the right way, to be able to do something as simple as showing exactly how much money can be saved and knowing who to point that out to, that's a, a realm of experience that we just don't have represented in our team at the moment. And we would be very anxious to find someone who can package that into one person and come forward and take a place on the team to lead us to where we want to go.